visit a friend or visit a random person and boom check that out lots of crystals lots of crystals this is the mother load my name is xnull and today we'll be discussing the top 10 beginner mistakes you must avoid in genshin impact in order to progress faster and not regret your decisions later shut up beidou tip number one do not let your resin cap check this out do not be like me look at this resin is the most important resource in the game this allows you to get boss drops get character and weapon enhancement materials farm gold farm character xp always always use it do not let it cap if you don't know where to use it yet a good choice to pick is the gold ley line outcrop bring out your adventure handbook go to bosses it's right here ley line outcrop click navigate will take you to here you can get a lot of gold from this and i gotta tell you, you cannot get enough gold tip number two at rank 12 you will unlock your dailies you get a ton of xp 200 plus xp per daily and that's four dailies and then after you get you're done with the four dailies you can get another reward you want to do the weekly boss so the dragon boss and the wolf boss these are both weekly bosses try to do them at the highest rank you can attain for that week so do your dailies do your weekly bosses if you have more time make sure to farm these guys because these guys also resp uh, have a respawn timer of 9 hours. By the time you actually need them and you haven't farmed them yet, you are going to get stuck. Tip number 3. We're going to open wow. our wishes. So you have the Noel Beginner's Wish, wow. Venti Rate Up Banner, and you have the Standard Banner. Also, you have the Weapons Banner, right? So which one should you go for? If you're new, right off the bat, I'm going to have to recommend you do the Beginner's Wish because it is discounted 20% right here. And the chances remaining 20. Do the times 10 twice. Is gone you get a guaranteed noel plus you get another four star for example you've done the beginner switch twice now you want to choose between these three first of all you gotta ask yourself what do you want to do in the game how do you want to enjoy the game are you happy with the free characters are you happy with the mc amber kaya lisa probably not so you want characters then right off the bat we are going to remove the weapons banner from the choices next question you want to ask yourself meta over waifu or waifu over meta if you want meta, you want to go for venti because venti is hella useful. If you want venti, you got to go for venti. But, but if you are free to play, you have to accept the fact that you may not get venti. Say you don't care about venti. Well, what about the four stars? This is a rate up on Barbara, Fish, and Sean Ling. If you want any of these characters, you want to get duplicates, wow. then this is the exact time you want to be spending all your primo gems on this banner, on the venti banner. Because you will get duplicates of fish, Shanling, Barbara so much. I put out a video of my experience. I got four dupes of Barbara. But let's say you don't want any of these. Then you're gonna go gonna have to go to the standard banner. This way you can get more characters, more variety. You can clear the content in the game without getting dupes. No dupes, no money spent. You can do all the content in the game using just the free characters. No problem at all. So if you don't care about the dupes and just wanna get different characters definitely go for the standard banner one thing to consider if you're trying to pull for five star characters you may want to go for the rate up banner why because if you go for the standard banner and you pull a five star the pool of choices is gonna come from characters and weapons if you go for venti venti banner yes there's a 50 percent chance you might get venti but if it's not venti then it's gonna be another character there are no weapons in this pool that's something you might want to consider so just ask yourself what you want how you want to enjoy the game and then take action from there tip number four do not stress about your characters too much i'm telling you this because i care about you and i don't want you to quit the game you might be concerned that your characters are weak let me tell you right now look at this the main thing that will make your character strong are the artifacts. Check this out. Attack, 34.8% increase, right? 34.8% increase. 34.8% increase plus 311 attack. It is gonna be artifacts, so no matter what character you get, even if it's Amber, although, <laughs> although you're gonna have a hard time if you use Amber. Yeah, don't stress too much about the characters. Wow. It's gonna be the artifacts. Actually, tip number five was about the artifacts i combined tip number four and five tip number four was not to stress about the characters because mainly you can clear the content even the free to play characters and any actual character you get tip number six now this is going to be big do not level up all your characters do not spread yourself too thin there's this quest when you open your adventure handbook send three characters to phase one all right 
So you want to follow this adventure handbook. You want to clear this, but just do the minimum requirement. Because if you spread yourself too thin, you will run out of resources. The same goes for artifacts. If you level up artifacts on all your characters, you won't have a single strong character. You will just end up with all your characters being kind of meh, and you won't be able to clear the content you need to clear to, to basically progress in the game. Tip number seven, do not sleep on three-star weapons. Some three-star weapons are actually very OP. Three-star weapons, you can get dupe, so many dupes. Look, I have a five refined debate club. I also have more debate clubs. I could make another five refined debate club if I wanted to. That's why they're insanely strong. Some of them are because you can get easily the max refined. 24% more damage on enemies affected by pyro or electro. If you have dialogue, or you have, uh, say, Beidou, who can apply Electro. Or you have Fish, I'll apply Electro. And then switch back to your Greatsword user. You get 24% damage on everything you do. That's insane. And for this, if you have spammable skills, damage can only occur every 3 seconds. If you have Razor, if you have Delo, you can spam your skills every 3 seconds. And you get 120% AoE damage. That's gonna delete mobs and burst down bosses. I'm gonna give more examples, like my Fish here. My fish is using a 5 refined slingshot. 60% wow. damage if her arrows hit after wow. 3, 0 0.3 seconds of being fired. You're probably going to be spamming your attack button in almost wow. melee range, normal attacks, and trying to dodge between. So you're going to have the 60% increased damage all the time. Check this out. Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. If you switch out, you drop your Mona, and then you switch out to your Beidou. Beidou is going to do 48% more damage for 10 seconds. 48% more damage for 10 seconds, and the cooldown is only 20 seconds. That is insane. Of course, in the late game, we're gonna drop these 3 stars for upgraded 4 stars and 5 stars. But for now, AR 1 to 30, 3 stars are insanely good. Tip number 8 is gonna be co-op. Co-op has uh, two advantages. One is, you can beat bosses very, very easily. Second advantage is, watch this. You just <laughs> join some random peeps. The cool part about co-op is, not only can you beat bosses really really fast, you can get extra resor resources which you have already exhausted on your world. Yes, the resources respawn. You can head on over to uh, your favorite mining spots. Assuming that uh, my friend here, Ikaros, hasn't uh, cleared this up yet, well, all mining spots take three days to res respawn. So say you're short on mining spots, right? You've already cleared your mines in your world. You can visit a friend or visit a random person and boom, check that out. Lots of crystals. Lots of crystals. This is the mother load right here. Again, check this out. Mount Aozang. Market. Teleport to that. Get these crystals. And it goes the same for everything. You want you need mushrooms if you're Mona. And also you can get monster drops. Pretty good. If you run out of resources, join someone else's world. Tip number nine. You do not neglect the souvenir shop. This uses the sigils. You actually get so much. Wow. You get thousands of these just by exploring, opening chests, doing quests, puzzles. You get so many sigils. Don't spend your uh, resin on these materials, which you can get from both the souvenir shop in Liyue and souvenir shop in Monsanto. Tip number 10. Pick up everything. You saw those mushrooms by the eaves of the houses? You thought you didn't need it? Think again. You think you have 95 masks and you're good? You have enough? Think again just pick them up it will make your life easier later in the game i hope those were of some help especially to beginners so hit that follow button and hit that uh, like button that helps